Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is your Asian Sensation here with a new video. Uh, just to let you guys know that I'm not dead or anything. I'm still here. Um, God of War released. And what better way to spend your spring break than uh, not going outside, no, not having a social life, but being a shut-in and playing the latest video games. So that's what I decided to do. Uh, my uni's on spring break right now, so I figured, yeah, why not? And it's raining as hell outside, so... Um, this is God of War Ascension. Like I said before, when I cut with the beta, when I was able to get in it, I love the multiplayer. It's amazing. So when I immediately got the box, threw everything away, the plastic, threw everything on my floor, uh, stuck the disc in, I saw this cool intro cinematic that was supposed to set you up for the story. I was like, balls to it. Play multiplayer. Um, I did pre-order this from GameStop. I know, I know, but... I really enjoyed it, so I figured this would be a safe pre-order, and it was. So I do have the Leonidas skin and spear right now, so this is what this gameplay is going to be. Um, so far, when I first got in here, this is a couple matches in, when I first got in here, it was quite daunting, considering that I had no idea what the maps were. It's There's a whole bunch of other maps, which is nice. Well, I wouldn't say a whole bunch, I've only played two more, and I think there's another one, so maybe four or five in total in this particular game mode, I'm not sure about the other one, so this is just the 4v4, but I had no idea what was going on. There was one where, I remember, it looks like the level in God of War 3 where all these cubes were moving around, and it looks like this giant labyrinth, the jail cell, and like, I had no idea what was going on. Safe to say, I jumped off of that level many times and committed suicide, so that was awful. But you won't see that here, because I wasn't capturing, so. Anyway, this is going to be post-commentary. I didn't realize that I wasn't um, capturing or recording anything, so I'll do this on post. And I was just going to throw this up here to show that, um, yeah, I'm enjoying God of War. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I need to post more videos on my channel, so I figured I'd do a lot of God of War coverage, considering it's out. And I do like the multiplayer, so let's get in. This is Walls of Troy. Uh, the big objective, because each one of the 4v4 maps, I believe, maybe some other different game modes, but the 4v4 definitely has the, if you remember in the beta there was the giant cyclops you could get when they threw down the Spear of Olympus. Um, in Troy, there's the catapult in the back to damage the Trojan horse, and that gives you more points and everything like that. And originally when I played this map, I had no idea how to get to the catapult, but uh, you'll see I'll figure it out here. So starting off, we go with a quick capture. I am using the spear, and I did not know those steam the steam vents damage you and immediately take half health damage. So remember that when playing this game, dogs with steam vents. Um, but yeah, I'm using the spear. It's really awesome. It's really quick and uh, it's, it said a mid range attack. So it's it has, I think it's the fastest weapon out of all of them. Honestly, after using it for a little bit, I really prefer the sword. The sword is my favorite weapon out of the three. The hammer is a bit too slow but very strong. And the spear is, is quick, but I don't think it has the damage. And the sword is very all around, so I like it. Maybe if I give it more practice, but I want to do this because, I mean, come on. Leonidas, man, you gotta use like, the weapons in the movie. So there I go, I get first blood with the help of the other guy, my teammate. Uh, I believe that shield right there is because one of my items. Oh, and I was fucking. I keep getting. This entire map, I think I get hit with every hazard that there is available. But. The shield that's underneath my little health bar, um, one of my items is every time I get a kill, I think 30 seconds or 15 seconds after, I get more toughness. And the god I chose to align myself with is Poseidon. I just think his armor and everything looks cool later on, so that's the one I wanted to go with. And then next will most likely be Hades, because I, I, I first a few Hades players here and they have really cool moves, so it'll definitely be Hades. I made a mistake um, walking into these two guys instead of going for health and just get owned, so there you go for that. Um, yeah, but yeah, this is, it's a lot of fun. Um, in terms of god advantages, Poseidon, I believe, has is the most, supposed to be the most tankiest, and all his magic items slow, because I, I have the one magic item I have, I don't think I use it in this match, but it summons an ice like uh, an ice wave in front of you and bounces enemies and slows them. There's the catapult. I finally figured out how to use it. You're going to see me like screw up a few times. I don't know why. I don't know how. I, I didn't know that I had to mash the um, O button, like the circle button. So I was just constantly like, why, why isn't this turning? And then I realized, oh, you have to mash 
the button. Then, uh, that's it. That's all you have to do. You don't have to press anything else after that. It just fires at the Trojan Horse in the background. And the, the level design in this game is absolutely gorgeous. It's awesome. Everything in the background is fighting and there's this giant war going on. And even in the, the beta one with the giant Cyclops and everything. And I love how the levels are dynamic. Like, there, it, it's not just a flat surface. You can go up, you can go down to escape your enemies. You can run away. I believe later on you'll see me get chased by two people. And I quickly turn that that 2v1 to 1v1 by quickly trying to escape my enemy and then turning around and killing them, so this is pretty cool. This is a really cool vehicle. I didn't notice that his uh, head fell off, that was kind of nasty, but try and go for the brutal kills if you can. They, I believe they give you more points and they're just so damn cool, like come on. There I am, <clears throat> being an idiot, trying to fire the catapults again. Uh, but yeah, all the other guys using uh, Leonis skin as well. So far, thoughts on the beta, early thoughts, uh, it's a lot of fun, it's taking a while to get used to. The biggest thing I think you want to do if you jump into this game is know the maps, because the only way you're going to do well and know everything is definitely figuring out, and it's trial and error, because I've jumped off ledges so many times that I didn't think I could make, and I made it, and then other ledges where I just suddenly just fall off, and there's nothing left. So. Here I am again going for the catapult. I don't believe anyone in this entire map even knew how to get there because the symbol, there's so much stuff on the screen, like there's different points that you gotta capture, telling you where to go, sometimes a chest when you're nearby, enemy names, that when the little catapult thing pops up, I don't think many players notice. And I think that's the only thing that did, that helped us um, in this match. I found this guy, starting level is pretty lucky, but that helped us in this match in terms of points, because those are, I'm pretty sure those are like at least 500 points, I can't remember, I'll have to check next time I look at the, when I launch the catapult, but no one was going for it, only towards the end, and that's that's a good um, help for your team if you're behind in points, so there I am trying to help this guy, I believe I tried to, I was kicking him, but I thought I picked up a weapon, I guess not, always go for the power-ups, there's many different weapons in this game now, um, different from the beta, and uh, here I am trying to run away. Always, if you're outnumbered, don't try and fight. If you can escape, try and escape. Here's here's a good strategy, by the way. If you see someone chasing you, and they're not quite in range to hook them, turn around and hook them back, and then you'll be able to get them. Uh, here I, I don't think I uh, Yeah, I escaped this one. That's what I was talking about. Go for the health. I tried to go for the health. I missed, but I managed to dodge around it. I got, still got hit a few times, and then run away again. It's best not to feed and give the other opponent points, so just try and run away and escape. Again, I mentioned this in the beta, if you saw my other videos, always go for those chests. If you're just passing by, don't skip them up. I think I skip a few of them, but they give you 50 points. It's a quick 50 points. It's easy to get. And uh, this guy finally figured out how to get to the catapult, so you have to stop that. Uh, I believe this is a Hades player because he uses a really cool skill. I don't know if it does appear, but yeah, that's awesome. He just goes into the ground, and I think you can control it. So Hades is all about stealth, stealth and assassination, and Poseidon is like the sea and ice and slowing, and he's supposed to be very tanky. And uh, Ares is very strong and straightforward, so he has a lot of attack power, and Zeus has a lot of magic damage. So. I think I think Hades is going to be the next guy to level up after this side. I like this side a lot. I just think the armor and everything's cool. The Kraken armor, I believe, when you scroll through is really awesome. Now what I just did there was the uh, my item. You have every player can have like an item for an escape. Uh, it could be a shield or a burst or anything to help you get out of the situation like this guy was in. Again, going for the brutal kill. But I don't like the item I chose. I unlocked it, I thought it would be cool. It's like Siren's Call or something like that. And it's supposed to he heal your allies and you, like everyone around you, but it doesn't work so much. It's It just feels like it, other items are more useful in those situations. Like a shield will be much more useful to help you get out of that situation than just me floating there and singing for whatever reason. Um, this guy I thought we kicked off, so I went for the, the relic chest because they give you, um, I, like, Points. I can't remember what kind of points they are, but it helps you unlock armor. So always go for those white, golden-ish chests if you see them. 
uh, now, at this point, I realize that we aren't Trojans. We're actually, um, or no, we aren't Spartans. We're Trojans. And there's that freaking Hades move again. It's really cool. So it's definitely up there with the gods. Oh, I think if you saw on the side, there was that ice spike. Um, I don't think I was able to use magic in this entire game, but yeah, I two minutes left. Um, they're only a thousand points away. Unfortunately, yeah, we we don't win this one. But it was it's still fun nonetheless. I'm gonna keep playing, keep practicing, and everything. I just want to throw this out there to show that I have the Leonice skin. Uh, it's kind of cool looking, you know. You can play as Leonice from 300. Um, I think I do fairly well at the end of this, and I'm gonna throw out more videos, more God of War, uh, a lot of multiplayer. I don't think I'm gonna do a single player like let's play or anything. I've never done an actual full fleshed out let's play before, and maybe I don't know. I, I'm not one to just do let's plays. I don't think I have the time. Unfortunately, there we are. We lost, but um, I finished six to one, so that's not bad. Uh, all those objective points and all those favorite points, but it wasn't enough in the end of team couldn't pull through But still still a fun game still great. I highly recommend it if you're a God of War fan You have a PS3 and you're thinking about oh is the multiplayer worth it or is the another God of War really worth it? This one if you haven't played the other ones this one for sure is a lot of fun if for the multiplayer alone because you get a whole bunch of replay value as well as a co-op so if you're not a competitive person and you don't like competitive multiplayer modes, just play co-op. There's a two-player co-op, and you just survive hordes of beasts, and you try and fight through the trials. It's really cool. So I highly recommend that. I'll post a lot of co-op later. So Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, this has been Your Asian Sensation, and I'll see you guys next time.